So here we are again, having a, another go at my symbol. So symbol, table, part de. And uh, yesterday I added a bit more resin to the symbol base. And I will show you that, what happened now. So here we have the, the, the symbol base. I've added some more resin in here. Let me just kind of see that. So you can only really add 10 millimeters thickness of resin at a time because it gets too hot and then it goes all ripply. So I have to build up the layers. But if you see here, I have a nice set of bubbles, which I didn't really want. Wasn't paying attention, tut tut. So before I add my next layer of resin, I'm just gonna grind or sand those bubbles out so that they're not there anymore. The next layer of resin will kind of, you won't see that sanded out piece. And I'm gonna see if I can bring it up to the final level. So just using a uh, Dremel tool, I just ground out those bu bubbles and uh, that should be enough. The resin will cover that back up again. So hopefully it'll work. So the resin I'm using is a uh, two pack uh, resin, ultra clear, um, low viscosity and it's for from resinforart.com so that's a uh, resin number four art.com so i'll give them a shout out because i love this stuff this is really cool but you have to measure it out using the scales so uh, it's a two to one mixture so what i normally do is I just mark up on my cups so that I can keep them. Uh, I'll put F for fixture. And R for the resin. So I know which, which, which one's going into which cup. So, for the resin, so two, uh, working on the grams, I reckon Using my wife's digital scales, don't tell her. So, put in, I reckon I have about 120 on this. There we go, 120. So, two for one. So, that means that my fixture needs to be half that amount, which is 60. Sixty. As you can see, I buy nice these these uh, plastic cups, etc. So now you have to mix the two together but you actually mix them in a, in a separate separate cup and i buy really expensive wooden spoons for this as well and the reason why i mark the cups up is that if i want to get a little bit more if i just need to add a little bit more to get my levels up I can use the cups for that. Some of the, uh... okay. So this is probably one of the biggest pours I've done, but there's a <clears throat> a fair amount of. Uh, area to cover now with that table so and now we come to the mixing part and you have to mix for two minutes so I will 
fast forward over that bit. Mm. So that's well mixed. Um, there's some, uh, I don't know if I can bring it up, but uh, there's some, I mean, you can see some bubbles in there, but I'm not worried about the, <coughs> the bubbles. I must admit, I need to uh, make sure that uh, the bubbles come out, but I'll show you how to get rid of the bubbles once we've poured. So let's go and pour. I've set the symbol table up in my shed so that it's out of the way. That means I can carry on using my workshop while this sits in here and cures. It's going to take about nine hours to cure. We can now do the pour. Now if I just pour like that. And as you can see, you can almost, you can already see where I ground out that, the, the bubbles from last time, that uh, they've gone. But there's nowhere near enough resin in there. So I'm going to have to make some more up. So you may ask how I get rid of the bubbles. You steal your wife's blowtorch, kitchen boat blowtorch. Hey guys, well I've now finished the symbol table so I'm going to give you a quick show of what it's like. And here it is. Ooh. So I kind of come in, you can't, you can just about see the resin. It's slightly uh, dipped there, but it's full that side. As I say, getting the, the resin level, getting the table, absolutely level even though you put a spirit level on it it was really difficult but as you see if I put my finger there you can maybe see how deep the resin is so there's I think at the deepest part we're looking at probably about an inch of resin so it took three uh, attempts to get this resin in and a whole load of resin. I think I went through roughly about two kilograms of resin in this little baby. In fact, probably more than that. But it's turned out really nice. And I'm uh, very pleased with it. So this one is going up on the Etsy shop. So if you want to buy it, you know where it is.